Fargo School Board to order at 701. And uh, that's going to start us off with pledge. Ned, not protest me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll follow with a brief moment of silence. Item number three, communication from patrons. Seeing none, we'll move on to item number four, approval of minutes from the regular meeting October 23rd. I'd entertain a motion. So moved. Oh, second. 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 And is there any discussion before we vote? Okay, all in favor of approving the minutes from October 23rd? Aye. 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 Opposed? It carries 4-0. Item 5, approval of the NEOLA guidelines. Um, these came from the state. I don't know if Ned wants to address anything with that tonight. We each received a copy of it at the last meeting. Actually, yeah, at the, your last meeting you approved the policies and we had first reading on the guidelines which interpret the policies. So. This evening, we had asked for approval of these guidelines, which will finish the process for these policies. So um, we think the guidelines are appropriate, and we had asked the board to approve. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Okay, thank you. Moved and seconded. Is there any discussion concerning the guidelines? And thank you for the clarification of that. Any discussion? Okay, we'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, item six, uh, personnel changes. Okay, we have uh, employment, Carly Vanderweel as the academy supervisor. We have resignations from four individuals. We have uh, coach switching. We have Carly Vanderweel as the JV girls basketball transferring from volunteer. We have Eugene Snyder girls basketball going to volunteer from JV coach. Just swapping those two, I understand. Correct. And is there any, is there a motion to approve the personnel changes? So, I'll second. Okay, moved and seconded to approve the personnel changes as listed. Uh, all in favor? Oh, is there any discussion? I'm sorry. Any discussion? Questions or anything? Okay. I'll just, I just comment. Uh, Mr. Snyder for years has always stepped up when we needed someone to cover something, and he did. And I think um, Carly has been helping him, and he, and he uh, convinced her to make a switch, and she did. So that's really nice for both of them, I think. I think it will work great. Yep. Good comment. Okay, now we'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, four zero. Item number seven, approval of the Argus Global Education Program, Spring Break 2019. To well, this, yeah, this is a field trip. Uh, that we've had quite a field trip we'd like to talk about. Uh, we've got our teacher here this evening, so. All right. <coughs> Would you like to share a little bit? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go more into depth after you share and we'll talk about it. Okay, so like talk about? this is about because all teachers get these nice little postcards from EF tours about sign up and make a little <coughs> trip. So I signed up just, you know, on a whim. They called me, I talked. I was like, wait, maybe I can actually do this. 
And so then it all actually started to work. And so now it's here, and I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. <laughs> all right, so this is the best of England, um, is where we'd go. It's a 10-day tour. Uh, okay, so let's start off with what's included. So in the price, um, and the kids will all find out the price once it gets approved, we'll have a meeting with all the kids who are interested. Uh, but everything that's included is airfare, hotel, breakfast and dinner, admission to all the attractions and tra transportation to, to and from where we go, because it's all around England, and then we'd also spend two days in Paris. Spring break 2019, 10 days, England and Paris. So it gives about a year and a half to plan if the board approves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where we would go. Our first night is our overnight flight to England. We'll spend two days in London uh, with a visit to Windsor Castle. That was an add-on that I thought would be really awesome. Um, I watched a video and and in this video they showed kids actually get to see um, the Queen coming into Windsor Castle. And obviously nobody knows when she's going to show up. Um, so I thought I just thought that was really cool. And as an English major. I just think that's... It would be a great yeah. experience for yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. I can um, call Cousin Kate, it'll be all right. I'm sorry? I can call my Cousin Kate, it'll be all right. Okay, <laughs> all right, I like it. You'll set it all up for us, right? Yeah. There we <laughs> a go. private tour. Um, then we go to Somerset, and then back in Stan uh, Stratford, um, Stratford on Avon. Um, day six is Oxford in London. Back to London, and then our two days in Paris, and then we'd come home. It's open to any student at this point in time in grades 9 to 12 and then 2018-2019 school year. Um, I have compiled a list of all the students that I feel would be okay, and I got about 170 students um, because I pretty much just grabbed anybody who didn't have like major discipline problems that I knew of. Um, so it's basically open to everyone that's doing yes. their job and yeah, and, I mean because everyone has English. And everybody has to take English, obviously. So they're all going to go through the course, so. That'll be a parent and student mm -hmm. decision. Absolutely. It, it is open for an opportunity if the board approves. I will interrupt a little bit. Uh, we have met, and Mr. Medich has met also, and we've discussed all the options. And according to our policies, anything out of the country or overseas, the board must approve. And I suggested, hey, we bring this on early if the board has an interest. And so it gives us time for kids to fundraise, and we can have fundraising. and. It's a great opportunity. I come from a background where uh, at one of the uh, school districts I was at, for 24 consecutive years they've taken kids to England. And I know there's been concerns over the years with security and it's just the world as it is and we've had nothing but great experiences. I'm familiar with the company that we've talked about and that so as far as the administration and that uh, we would be fine to see if there's an interest, if the board approves, uh, we're fine with the organization as it started. And if it ends up uh, there isn't an interest, parents make the decision whether they feel it's safe for their children to go. That'd be a parental decision. But uh, we'd leave it back to the parents and the kids if the board approves and we would work to make sure from our side that everything be safe. With the caveat, if it's approved, we get closer to 2019, who knows how the world will change. Whether it goes this way or this way, uh, that decision could be made later on But uh, to start the process. So, a little bit. So, as superintendent, I would feel comfortable to having an initial approval and exploring this great opportunity for our kids. But uh, Anything else you'd like to say, but that's basically where I would be a superintendent after we've met and talked about it and checked the company out. And I would feel secure in exploring this. And my thing is, is with the security, there will have a little bit of like downtime where it's not really structured, but nobody's going by themselves anywhere. I mean, just like when they go to Chicago, nobody goes anywhere by themselves in Chicago. I, I mean, First off, I, it's like if I could, I'll hold everybody's hand just so I know they're all with me at all times. And it'll be properly but. supervised and also an opportunity for parents and others to go along with chaperones. I mean, we'd like other adults to be a part of this too. And it'd be great if some parents would choose to go and help out too. And for every six students that go, a uh, chaperone does get to go for free. So that's one nice, really nice thing about the company. Is that what you think you would do, one per six? Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I think I that would be more appropriate to keep a good eye on everybody. Yeah, or if you know other parents would want to come and they need 
they, there's the option for them to come with us. They just have to pay. A could bit could more even take more if other parents want to go. Parent says, "Hey, I'd really like for my child to go, but I want to go too." The answer is yes. Um, we take a group if they're interested. If there's no interest, the option is well, there's no one to be forced, of course, to do it. It's totally put back to the parents and students whether they'd like to do this or not. It is, and it, it is an amazing opportunity. Um, I I had an exchange shoot when I was in high school, and our families have now become really close. And so we've actually gone. He was from the Netherlands. We've gone to the Netherlands twice, um, and the experience is unreal. Well, no it's just how, so yeah. different, and I mean. And their culture is just so different. I know we're going to London and Paris, but just the way they live and the things that they find that are way more important than we do and vice versa, I don't know. I, just to be able to open kids' eyes to what else is out there is what I'm really excited about. Very good. Board, would you have any questions? We want to sort of give well, you an insight into it. Um, I'm curious about fundraising and how, I mean, it doesn't have to be tonight, but if you yes. create a full of pool of funds and do you just divide that amongst the kids that are able to go so I'm kind of curious as to how that's usually handled so I thought and I was talking um, to Mr. Spiker about this is that I would I want to fundraise as much as I can but it's only going to be for the kids who actually fundraise I, I don't want to pool and everybody so not like oh I'm not going to do anything because Bobby's going to get all of it and so he can just spread it around no, because the way the company works is that each child will have their own account and so that they can put it out on social media and things like that. People can then donate right to that account. And so what I figure is whatever fundraising they get, it's going to go directly to that student who does it. And so what's the, the estimated cost today of the trip? $3,400. And what's the, do we have a break even number of students that need to go for that price point? Mm -mm. No. No, because if we wanted to do a private tour, it would be way more they want like a total of like 64 students so we would make a decision down the road after we've explored it whether it's a go or not and we keep you informed board as we start the process of where we're at but I just thought after we talked about it internally and talked with teacher and administration that let's don't start anything to see if the board if the board would have an interest the board does have an interest this would sort of start a process but uh, it doesn't say we're committed to going, but we're going to start exploring it if you say yes. If you say no, that's the end of it. But I have seen students grow tremendously experiencing another culture, having the opportunity uh, to just see the world differently and in other eyes. And the growth that comes from kids and parents doing things like this, it's just an opportunity. If any of our people want to take advantage of it, I'd say great. If not, that's fine too and so I guess we would ask your permission to start exploring this process and then every few months in the next year and a half we keep you up to date where it at where it's heading what type of interest it is and keep reporting to you with the understanding is that a final decision will be made down the road so any other questions or well, it's comments? it's not really a question but I do I would like to make a couple comments um, I fully support travel as an educator. In my teaching career, I took groups of students on multiple trips, Europe, Canada. I've been to London, Paris with students, and it's a wonderful opportunity. I think it's a great thing to pursue. Well, yeah, what we would ask board, feel like it, is to give us a motion and a formal approval that we start exploring the process and start seeing what interest there is with the understanding we will be back but that would sort of start the process if you'd like to give permission. I'll make that motion to give Miss Carroll the go ahead. All right. Because if I didn't my two kids would probably beat me. <laughs> <laughs> we understand that. <laughs> is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Okay, we'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? You have the go-ahead to pursue. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Carroll. And we're here to help as we go through the process, okay? And I'd welcome any discussion that you... 
Like Sounds this. like we got some expertise here. We might yeah. have to take advantage yes. of. I don't know about money, but I'm, I'm going to start saving my pennies. Yeah. <laughs> start stacking. Mm. Yep. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <coughs> Item number eight. Approval of transfer of $387,870 to the Rainy Day Fund. Board, this is the second part. Uh, last week we uh, transferred money to the general fund and reimbursed the general fund. And this is the second part of putting this money into Rainy Day that comes from our bond sale to set money aside, which protects our general fund into the future. As we talked about through, or through the process, this completes those transactions and with this I feel very confident that the school district will be stable and will provide for that stability as we look into the future and I think it's a very important step as we take the next process. Also I gave you a sheet here that actually shows a tally of the bonds and uh, the money that is remaining, a lot of money is remaining as, as we look to future needs in that. But this shows as if the uh, transfer to rainy day was approved. This doesn't mean this money is going to be spent, but actually what it means is just like last week, last month I told you, we're actually setting this money into savings to protect and secure the future of the school district. So we're moving it from our bond account into a savings account into rainy day and will not be removed from their board unless it is so needed into the future. So I'd recommend moving the money to rainy day as listed. Does that require action by the county? No, since it's an internal transfer. But the transfer not. out would require yes. the county. Yes. And, and changing the budget that, but since it's already been approved here, you have the right to transfer that board. So good question. I move, we make the transfer as stated. Good. Thank you, Jenny. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, Brett. Okay, are there questions or any further discussion? Okay, all in favor of approving the transfer to the Rainy Day Fund? In favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-0. Okay, number nine, approval of the sale of surplus property. I understand it's a bus, right? It's a bus. Uh, we have a surplus bus. It's an old wheelchair bus, 1999. And when we bought our new bus, uh, we were offered $1,000 in trade-in, which was really the bus is worth more than that. So um, we've had a lot more success of uh, getting more money than trade-in money by doing an online auction. So we would uh, recommend to the board that you approve an online auction for the 1999 uh, wheelchair bus that surplus property with the caveat that the minimum bid must be $1,000 because we know we can get a thousand for it for trade-in, so anything beyond that will be money made. So we make that recommendation as we're not using the bus anymore and do not see a need for it in the future. I move we approve the sale of the surplus property um, of the 1999 bus. Second. Okay. Been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or discussion? Does that cash go back into the general fund, even though it's a capital item? Even though it's a capital item, unfortunately, it goes back to the transportation. Okay. Capital. Which no. we could eventually. But it could eventually, it be, it could eventually be moved. Okay. But it will be deposited in transportation since it's buses transportation. Do we know what where it would be auctioned? It'll be an online auction, and uh, we'll do it online and. It'll actually be sitting on our property and people can come and look at it. And we've done these before. And so people come and look at it and then put the uh, bids into our administrative office. And we have it, how long it is. And okay. then we go from there and we'll report back to you. But happens. online, like Craigslist online? Or no. Or it's a, just, just a... And there's a, there's a state uh, website for buses okay. that all the school districts see and private schools. and tends to be private schools and churches and charter schools and that that are most interested okay. or private people wanting to buy a bus to uh, remodel for a motor home or a trailer or whatever you've seen them going up down the road and stuff. Yeah. so whoever drive it to europe huh? drive it to europe drive it to europe <laughs>
Can we can put vacation? some we can put some pontoons on it. <laughs> Miss Carol can get some oars and we can ride yeah. pontoon <laughs> it to Europe. <laughs> Might take a while, but we'll get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. If, if no further discussion, we'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero. Okay, item ten. We have uh, donations um, from the Nice Source Charitable Foundation. A second one from Walter and Isabel Gordon. Oh, I guess I should put what they're two. Um, the Nice Source Charitable Foundation. Is that one designated? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. The second one, Walter and Isabel Gordon. That is designated to go to the boys' basketball for uniform purchase. The third one, Kent Naylor, also to the boys' basketball for uniform purchase. And then the fourth one, United Steel Workers, local union 12775, donation to, to athletics in general. So we have four donations which we need to approve. Correct. And we do appreciate the donations. Always. Did we solicit the uniform donations? It's odd that they both showed up at the same time. Just who knows? I think they can answer. No. Okay. That's fine. I just wondered. Yeah. Don't know, but we do appreciate mm -hmm. it. And are, are those four uniforms we've already bought, do we know, or are we looking for new uniforms? Patty? We purchased. We have new uniforms, and these people are helping pay for them. They're helping pay for them. Okay. okay. They'll be in the open scene. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so moved. Okay. So I'll second. Okay. We moved and seconded. Any discussion on the donations? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero. Okay. Instructional reports. Yes. I would like to share um, school grades are not embargoed anymore. And so I'd like to share some uh, school grades and corporation grades and and you need to understand this is clear back to last spring's I step. They just unembargoed, so now we can show. So these are elementary school grades, and this is on a four point scale. Four is an A, three is a B, two is a C, one is a D, and zero is an F. And you can't get a plus or a minus. It's four, three, two, one. That's state law. That would make too much sense. So four, three, two, one, and you can see Argus Elementary is a three. Most of the school districts around us are three. I'm glad we're not like uh, several of them that are twos and ones. And there was only one elementary A in our surrounding area. So, yes, you know what? I, I really think with things that are happening that uh, we can certainly be an A also. Looking forward to that in this school year with things that are the way they're going right now. Our kids are doing a great job and so are our teachers. But that's what it was from last year, 1617. If you look at it now, look at the different school districts. This is the 17 report, and everyone's a B except for two districts, Plymouth and TV, typically New Valley were C's, and Rochester's still unknown. Hmm. Um, ha they have a little issue, and. They've appealed to the state, and the state has given them a grade, but they're not accepting it and appealing it again, and there were some problems that showed up in Rochester, so I don't re wish Rochester ill, but they're struggling a little right now with that. But happy with our grade. We're right there with everybody else, but I still think an A is very possible for us, a four, but you can see all the threes on the 17 grades. Next slide. This is the junior senior high schools, and this back to 2016. And you can see all the C's in the junior senior high schools with Bremen, John Glenn were B's, and Triton was an A, and Rochester unknown. Go to the next slide, the 17 slide, and there are no A's. And you got Bremen, uh, Caston, and Triton as B's, lots of C's one D and one unknown. There again, I really think our junior senior high school with the job we're doing this year, a A or a B is very possible this coming year. So I really like where things are heading right now, but looking at last year's scores, 
That's where it's at. Uh, next slide, we'll get into looking at school district grades. This is our school district grade for the entire school district, and this takes our elementary, our junior high, our high school, and plus all of our special education students, and looks at it. If you look at all the surrounding districts, it seems like B was the grade of the day for most of the districts. We had one district that had an A, and um, one district undetermined, and Caston and Culver got C's. So I think this is pretty good, but I also think we can do better. And I'm looking forward to being able to share a better report next year. Even though it's good, we can get better. So I just wanted to show the grades to you, and that's my instructional report for November. Wanted to share the grades. Awesome. Thank you. No action necessary. Okay, item number 12, approval of claims. Um, this evening's or this month's claim docket is uh, we have accounts payable claims in the amount of $307,889.47. Payroll claims totaling $365,129.61 for a total docket of $736,19.08. I'd recommend you pay the claims, pay the bills as listed. <laughs> uh, is there a motion to that effect? So thank you, Doug. Second. Yes. Second, thank you. Okay, we have moved and second to approve the claims as read by Jennifer. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, four zero. Uh, financial reports. I want to go through some financial slides. We're getting towards the end of our 2017 budget year. If you look at our um, fund balances at the end of the month, you can see the general fund. You see that's probably the highest it's, I don't know if it's ever been, but certainly I've gone back a long way and it's not been that high. Jennifer, you've been here for quite a few years. You ever seen a general fund like that? No. And that's what we're doing in protecting the future of this yeah. school district. And we're going to protect the future of this school district and have it on strong financial footing. Uh, you see the balance of debt service fund, the pension fund, the capital projects fund, uh, transportation fund, and the bus replacement. Uh, we understand that. We get our tax draw in December, and that will be taken care of when we get the tax money in. So things really look good in our balance report as the end of October. I'd like to show you what that looks like as we look at the history on the next slide. We'll give Patty time to get there. As we look at the financial reports here, let's go to the general fund. And I've told you this every month, and I know it's getting old, but I'm going to continue to share this. This is our income, looking at it by year in the general fund. And you see what has happened due to the state of Indiana and the funding of public education. If you go back to 2008, um, we had 4.6 million, and now it's right at 4 million. Uh, that 600,000 has disappeared for all those years. If you take 600,000 for nine or 10 years, that's 600 million bucks that just poof. And we're not alone. That's happened to all the school districts, small school districts in the state. And that's why it's so important for us to build our own financial stability. And so, Board, I want to compliment you on what you're doing to create and establish the financial stability. You're doing a great job in a tough financial atmosphere. But um, that's the thing that's caused the problems for all small school districts right there. Next slide. This is looking at each year as of the end of October. So basically 83 and a third percent of your budget year is gone. How much of your, your budget have you expended? So if we look at the general fund, you look at 13 and 14 board, uh, we were deficit spending. And we, we've been able to turn that around and um, we're at 82% and 83% uh, be expended looks very healthy. That's the way the general fund should look, that health of 
not overspending. So my compliments on turning this around with the general fund. Next account, capital projects fund. Uh, the last four years, we had expended more than through October than 83%. This year, we're at 64. That looks good also. I'm very pleased with that number. Next account, transportation, we're right at 61% expended. Transportation looks really healthy for 2017. Next account, that was it. thought I had one more, but I guess I didn't this time. <laughs> Questions about our financial report board? Any comments? It's looking very healthy. It looks good. At the end of October, um, 2017 budgets look real good. I guess I will comment. You can, you can see in those graphs the decrease in the funding of the school, and as one who worked to get increased funding, um, and now we show this, you know, cash balance, but it's come at a big expense um, okay. on some of our backs in that reducing these costs to match those. Um, you know, a lot of comments are made and so on. So it wasn't just, it didn't just happen. It was, we've a, got it was super, a journey. We've got superintendents who aren't here anymore, whether they were interim or hired, who um, took a pretty tough time to get these, to make the changes that we've made. And there's still changes that we want to make going forward that aren't there yet. So while we're back on that path, I don't want it to be just thought that that just happened because there's people and that um, work pretty hard to do that and it wasn't easy and there are teachers and other people in the school who worked hard to do that so to just let it slide by I can't that um, it's taken a lot of work a lot of special meetings and some superintendents throughout the group um, who took a pretty big beating over some of the changes so um, Ned, nice timing to come on in. But, well, uh, <laughs> I appreciate it, but, but it, it's working. It's not it, fair, it I don't believe, no, to just let it go. That, that, that was not easy um, yeah, for agree. many of us. I would agree, but well done. And it's probably going to drop in next year. <laughs> Question, yeah, um, yeah, for, for the remaining two months of the year, historically, have the expenditures increased or, or and held their own we have end of the year costs and what we'll do is we'll have another report like this and i'm glad you brought up because i wanted to comment on it a little bit in the year we'll have another report sort of like this but in december we'll sort of outline where we're at uh, we will also talk if there's uh, money that can go back to rainy day or transferring money and so we will bring you a complete report as we close out the budget year and make some recommendations, but we will show you where the cash and the cash flow is, and we'll have a detailed report at the end of the year as we look to close the budget for the board. Good, so, thank you. But I do want to comment just a little bit on what was said, and I appreciate that. This isn't a happening, this is a journey. And a lot of people have really worked hard on this, and I do appreciate it, and a lot of people here have, but the really good news is, and the celebration is, it's working. And so I think it's well said, and do appreciate everyone's hard work. And it's our job to do the due diligence to keep us on path. So I do appreciate you saying something. I agree in that that cash sitting there is not uh, cash up for grabs. Um, like we said, that is a savings account. We, we can't statutorily do another bond for several years, so this money will carry us for that period. It's not like all of a sudden we have this windfall of cash. It's cash that we brought in with the current bond to project forward the next three to five years, and that's what's going to carry, quite frankly, the school if the state funding formula does not change. So while we feel comfortable, um, I don't want the perception to be out there that we're you know, sitting on all this cash um, that we're unwilling to spend or, or whatnot. It's, it's preservation of the future is really what it is. Got to pay it back. Mm -hmm. Very intentional, and I called it a savings account, mm -hmm. and we don't want to be robbing it unless we have to use it. But we do want to support our educational program right. so we can provide quality education for our kids. Right. And the capital improvements that are required in this building right now. And they're going mm -hmm. to, we're going to be bringing some recommendations there. We all know that there are some needs to this facility that are going to have to be addressed. Thank you. Okay. 
Uh, I guess we're moving on to item four, uh, 14. Uh, Ned, did, before we go to 14, do you have any further comments as superintendent? Well, <laughs> just one. You know, as I last month I couldn't sit. This month I can't stand, so I feel like I owe you some explanation. <laughs> I'm really not wheelchair bound. I just can't stand and I can't sit in a regular chair, but I am scheduled to be scheduled for surgery. I shouldn't be out a long time, but as soon as I have a date, I will be sharing that. I have to have lower back surgery. So I'm trying to find somebody that will work on Thanksgiving week to get this accomplished. <laughs> I to, you see how much success I'm having. Yeah. But I am, a, I am working from home and available and can come as needed. Just want to let the board know where I'm at and what's happening. So other than that, no further comments. Uh, any comments from the board? Okay. I made a lot. No, I don't think I have anything else. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm sure the teachers are thankful for the break and the kids are ready. <laughs> sure, too. Cheering. So, yeah, they are. One, one more day and, and they'll be off for a few days. So, thankful that we're moving in the right direction. Mm. I guess I'll go on with the thankfulness that, that I've kind of been around here a couple of years, they tell me. Um, it seems like this year's going nice and smooth, and I'm glad for everybody that's working and going above and beyond from custodials to coaches to administration, and it's uh, teachers like Miss Carroll that are trying to get these kids outside of their little 60 mile, 60 square miles of Argus and expand. So, better than that. That's all I got. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Yeah. Nothing for me. I just want to say everyone that's going to be on the road traveling, Godspeed and have safe travels. For Thanksgiving. I mean, we adjourn. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she's eating to it. I, 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 I think I'll second it. Nice job, Jenny. <laughs> Any discussion on the motion to adjourn? Can't discuss that. that. Opposed? <laughs> okay. Uh, all I should favor? even be there. <laughs> Bye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you. Thank